chat people how are you today i am cat lady antigone and today i'm turning myself into a Yu-Gi-Oh card so i'm taking my ape liner right here and i'm ready to start doing the lines in order to kind of sketch where my dress is gonna be and you might ask me why Yu-Gi-Oh character again right because today we are doing a character from Yu-Gi-Oh obviously and the answer is like Yu-Gi-Oh! was the anime that I grew up with. I think I loved Yu-Gi-Oh! almost more than I loved Pokemon. Pokemon! It's a great idea! Maybe in the future I will do a Pokemon makeup. Write down in the comments, do you want to say something like that? Anyway, back to relevancy. So, I loved so, so much Yu-Gi-Oh! Like, as I have told you at the previous Yu-Gi-Oh! body paint, I was waking up really early in the mornings in order to make sure that I'm not gonna lose any episode. So, I really would like to do a series of body paints because, to me, it's something very, very important in my childhood. Okay, ah, also, also, I would like to tell you that today I'm doing the Japanese version and not the European version of the card because actually the European is kind of censored which I do not really agree because the Japanese version is just a little bit more deeper V at the dress here so I don't think that there is any particular reason to censor the card but again I would like to hear your opinion about this because to me it's a kind of severe issue that we had with Yu-Gi-Oh cards and Yu-Gi-Oh monsters that they are heavily heavily censored so yeah please tell me do you agree with this do you think that the children are more protected in this way and after I sketched the dress the next step was to take a purple this one right here I made this purple by myself you can see it in a previous video I will have it up here or down in the description box and then I took a brush like this one and I filled this whole area so now I'm gonna do this area right here in order for you to see it and understand it better Next step is to set everything here. So for this reason, I'm gonna take the palette, which is a collaboration between James... Oh my god, that was my body paint! Stay here! Everyone is alive! Oh my god, I didn't break the mirror! Oh my god, I was so lucky! Oof! Anyways, anyways, back to relevancy. I'm gonna take this palette, which is a collaboration between Morphe and James Charles. And from this palette, I'm gonna take the shade Escape, which is a very dark purple, and I will set the whole outfit. Time to make the whole outfit a little bit more 3D and add some shades and some lights. And the idea for today's makeup is that the light is coming from in front of me, like this. So this area will be lighter, aka I'm gonna use some white. And there it will be darker. So I'm gonna take the palette from James Charles and from this palette I'm gonna take the black right here in order to create the shadow. And now I'm gonna take my eyeliner. This is from Essence and it's called 24 Ever Ink Liner. And with this I'm gonna draw a line all over my outfit in order to make it pop up a little bit more. So after all this shading, I obviously finished with my dress and now it's time to do the necklace. So as you can see, I have done the basic design by using a very bad pencil that I have from W7. And yes, I kind of hate a lot of products that I have from W7, but this is a topic for another video. So if you don't want to miss, just subscribe to this channel and actually hit the notification bell because I have heard that you don't get all the notifications, which is bad because you might feel that you want to see the new video and you don't know how it is released. So first of all, we release three times a week. Tuesday, Friday and Saturday, but if you want to make sure that you're not going to miss anything, just hit the notification bell. Anyway, back to relevancy. Now, let me show you how I have done this part right here, the gem. So from NYX Professional Makeup, I have used their gel eyeliner, this one right here, 
and it's kind of old so I also used from Inglot the Dura line as a mixing medium in order to revive it a little bit so if you feel that your gel eyeliner is dry don't worry get a mixing medium whatever I'm using the one from Inglot you can buy the one from Mehron and I don't know if you can find anything else but both Inglot and Mehron are perfect I know that you missed the whole procedure while I was drawing this so I decided to do it here on a paper for you to see it and let me tell you, I started with this triangle-ish shape and then I went down with two vertical lines and then again I ended with a triangle and then I just repeated the same procedure inside there so the triangle first and then another triangle here because I want them to be in the place in order to have the correct symmetries I connected the lines and then I connected here as well and that's how I created my gem now in order to make it look like an actual gem first of all I'm gonna apply some green eyeshadow and then on the top I have these two so Basically, you know that I don't like Magical Makeup as a company. If you don't know why, just look at one of my older videos. I just don't want to spread negativity again. I have explained my reasons. But anyway, I have their products, so why not using them? I have Cinderella, which is a very nice duochrome glitter. It's from green to blue. And then I have... Oh my god, I cannot even read that. I think it says Firefly which is another chunky glitter and I will fill my gem with these two glitters in order to make it a little bit more 3D and more realistic. So first let's go with the green eyeshadow and then the glitters. Now that I have finished with the gem the next step is to paint black the whole necklace and for this I'm gonna use my watercolor from Eulenspiegel. I'm gonna activate it with oops some water and then I'm gonna start doing this area right here. I'm giving you two hints. First of all, I removed my glasses. Secondly, I came closer. So this means one thing. Can you imagine? I will do my face now. So I'm starting with the eye makeup and as always, I'm gonna go with Urban Decay and Primer Potion in order to make sure that I will have the perfect canvas for my eyeshadows. The first color that I'm gonna apply on my eyes comes from LH Cosmetics and the palette Spectral and it's gonna be a very nice light purple, this one right here. I still have issues with the pronunciation of this. I guess it's Eri? Eri? I'm, I'm not sure. Anyway, I'm gonna take this one and I'm gonna use it as a base in order to build with darker purples on it. Next step is to take a palette from Beauty Bay, Utopia, and from this palette I'm gonna mix two colors. First of all Dreamland and secondly Serene in order to create some more depth. And while I'm doing this, let me tell you, at the European version of the card, this necklace is exactly the same color as the dress. And the dress is kind of purple but more reddish purple so again i followed the japanese version and that's why i decided to go with a black necklace because basically i like black more than i like like a reddish purple so i felt that it's more suitable for the whole outfit that's why i did it and all in all i feel that the japanese version of the card is kind of more beautiful since it's the authentic so this is what I'm trying to follow and when it comes to the eye makeup the Japanese and the European did not have any makeup or basically the girl had the eyes open so I could not see if she had anything hidden but I decided to go with purple because basically this is a color which is matches my outfit and that's it, that's why I chose those colors I will finish this eye look with a shimmer from the palette Flower Power from BH Cosmetics and it's called Wild, it's this tiny cutie eye right here and I'm gonna apply it here at the inner part of my eye. As a detail at my inner corner and under the eyebrow area, I'm gonna add the shade Bleach 
from the palette War Paint and then I'm gonna follow exactly the same steps in order to do the bottom part of my eye. As always, I skip the boring part, which is the face makeup, but now I'm gonna explain you every product that I have used. So, first of all, I started with Essence Primer Fix and Last, Jelly Primer Makeup Gripping, actually it's a very good primer. Then I went with Essence Foundation, pretty natural, this one right here in the shade 10 Cool Porcelain. After that, I applied my concealer, again from Essence, the Camouflage healthy glow concealer, then some powder, banana powder from Essence again, then the liquid highlighter from Essence which is called Glow Glow Go. On the top of the highlighter in order to set it I took from Wooden Side, this one right here, it's called the Norms and specifically this one is the blue so it's Spring of Life and then I continued with blush. I used this one from MUA and you might wonder what happened to its plastic, you know, covering and packaging. Well, this is kind of a sample for me to try it and kind of say my opinion so I don't have the proper packaging but it's working and it's the same product as you can find it in the plastic so I'm using it in this way. Then after this, what else? What else have I done? Oh yeah, bronzer! And I used this one from Essence which is called Matte Bronzing Powder. I love the smell of it. I just love it. It's amazing. And then I set it everything with my powder from Cosas which I cannot find right now, so you have to trust me about that. Now, next step is to create two red lines under my eyes, not like scars or anything, it's just a painting on the character of the card. So this is what I'm gonna do. I'm thinking if I wanna go straight with body paint or with pencil, and I think that I will go with pencil, I think it's safer. So I think that I'm gonna use again the pencil that I'm using for sketching. I mean, it's tiny nowadays. I'm gonna show it to you because it's really this tiny. <laughs> oh my god. And then on the top I'm thinking to apply some eyeshadow in order to adjust the color. And as you saw I ended my two red stripes by using this palette right here. This is from NYX Professional Makeup Ultimate Brights and from the palette definitely I took the red, like it's quite obvious, right? And then I set it my body paint. Now the last step for the character makeup, because I still have to do my lips, is to create a gem, kind of similar like that, but instead of angular, this is a round gem. So I'm gonna start by using the Epic Ink Eyeliner in order to shape it, and then I'm gonna fill it with green, and then on the top I'm gonna add some glitters. And now it's time for the Greek word of the day. So as I have told you before in this video, this Japanese version that I'm drawing today is censored in Europe. So for today, I decided to tell you the Greek word for censorship. So in Greek, we say logokrisia. Say it with me. Lo, go, kri, si, a. Logokrisia. As always, I'm gonna ask you to try to write a comment down below, either using the word Logocrisia or actually today, tell me your opinion about the whole thing about Logocrisia, about the card, about the character, about in general anime that has been censored in the European TVs or stuff like that. Do you agree with this? Last step is to do my lips and for today I decided to use a combination First of all, I'm gonna go with this lip liner from MUA Intense Color in the shade Glam and then from NYX Professional Makeup, I'm gonna take the Candy Sleek in the shade Grape Expectation. Ah, this is the one with the grape name. Yeah, I remember it. So, I'm starting with this and then you will see my favorite lip series from NYX. And that was it for today. I hope that you enjoyed the video. If you want to see more pictures from this makeup, you can always visit me on Instagram, which is catladyandigoni. I'm gonna leave it down here as always. Don't forget to subscribe. See you tomorrow with a more chatty video. Until then, bye bye!